back like we never left sv here with the live reaction to legend of the northern blade this week we're reading chapters 74 to 76 so you know the vibes last chapter the cliffhanger was our group finally arrived to the tang family residence but much to their surprise as they got there they're confronted by some mysterious shadowy guy in the trees so we're gonna see what's good with that right now so let's get it legend of the northern blade chapter 74 let's get it Oh, so we even gonna see who the old shadowy dude was? We start off. Tang family of Sichuan. So they pull up. Lesser family head, you're safe. So they pull up on them. Okay, so they're greeting everybody. They're checking their wounds and whatnot. Everybody's popping out to see them, whatever. There, there. You did well bringing us to, bringing us to this place. And we see the third three-eyed scholars, like, um... Chilling with the horse, being like, you did a good job, whatever, that's lit. That boy is my disciple, ryu son. Give him a medical bath. Ooh! Eh? <laughs> Master? Are you that happy about it? Good boy. <laughs> just taking him away and just dragging him, bro. These guys over here are honored guests as they are my life saviors. Make sure to give them the best possible lodging and accommodate them for whatever else they might need. Elder Tang says, yo, give them the treatment. Okay, we see the trees. We see Jin walking through the forest. See, well, I'm not sure where he's going though. Hmm, you're going to go explore their manor? All right, sounds good to me. So that's where he's going, he's going to explore. I'm going to take a nice bath. Time to have to take full advantage of the Tang family's hospitality. So three guys scholars in there. <laughs> so this is the Tang family's residence. It seems they enjoy surrounding themselves with nature, much different from other renowned sects. Got you. Beautiful panel of Jin walking through the trees. High ass trees too, bro. Huh. So as he's walking, Jin knows something. He goes, bloodlust? From who? And he turns around. What a tremendous amount of key. Where is it coming from? And all you see, the leaves start swirling around our boy. It's got to be the guy in the trees from last chapter, right? It has to be him because he didn't show up yet. We see, again, the, the leaves are still swirling around. Jin goes toward the trees, moving around. I'm trapped. And we see he's just getting trapped in, like, thousands of trees. Or, uh, leaves are just spinning around them and just making a dome around that boy. A high level, a high level uses of stealth. This is the work of a martial arts master in an absolute in the absolute grade realm sheesh okay so the, the leaves suddenly disperse from around jin jin holds his sword unsheets it as something's coming towards him where are you at and all you see is two little dots in the distance bro Jin closes his eyes as he's trying to pinpoint where the guy is at. Right side. About 40 jang away. Around 13 or 14 yards. Okay. There he is. And Jin goes up. Unsheets his sword. Oh, shit. And goes to cut him down. And we see the person we saw. Definitely we saw in the shadows in the trees. Some old geezer. And then Jin at his throat with the sword. Didn't even fully unsheath it, bro. At his neck. He said, old geezer. Oh, -ho. it seems this old man went too far with the honest tricks. Forgive me. You just reminded me of someone when I was younger. Who are you? Jin says, who the fuck are you, old man? <laughs> I hold the highest position of this family. The Poison Emperor? That's correct. I am the sect leader of the Tang family, Tang Gion Wu, the 10,000 Poison Emperor, Tang Gion Wu. So when he says 
you reminded me of someone, he's going to say he reminded him of the old leader of the Northern Heavenly Sect, right? He's going to be like, remind me of your pops. I knew him back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And he knows. As for you, you are the last descendant of the Northern Heavenly Sect, Jin Muan, correct? And Jin's king puts his sword back, doesn't say a word. Yes, that's correct. As he hands the old man his cane back. Ooh, fire. <laughs> so they start walking through the forest. They chatting it up. Yo, Akid, what's up, bro? They walk through the forest. They going in there. My goodness. Even moving the slightest makes this old body ache. You are the first person to easily break through my 100 Dusk of Fallen Leaves. Bro, these technique names are so clean in this shit, bro. Like, there's so is there, there's always such, like, a phrase for, like, the techniques, bro. Like, 100 Dusk of Falling Leaves. <laughs> it seems the power of a Northern Heavenly Sect still lives on. Jin doesn't say a word. He just keeps listening. I've lived my life filled with grief and guilt for the Northern Heavenly Sect. Ten years ago, the fact that I couldn't do anything for the Northern Heavenly Sect kept eating away at my conscience. Forgive me. I just watched the Northern Heavenly Sect fall into destruction. This may sound like, I was making, like I'm making excuses. However, I really couldn't do much at the time. Yeah, it, it, we gotta understand. It, it definitely would have been hard for some of these other families to go against the Northern Heavenly Sect, right, at that time. Especially because, you know, they were with the Central Heavenly Alliance. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. My sister schedule was so fucked. I can't even watch the night streams. I missed three in a row. <laughs> I leave you here for the day ones, bro. I leave you here for the day ones. Before anything else, before anything else, I am le a leader of my sect. Responsible for the entirety of my people. My first priority was to maintain safety for the Tang family of Sichuan. Those were turbulent times. Again, exactly. It was going to be, if he would have interfered, it would have put his, tie, his entire family into jeopardy. So, he probably wasn't in a position to do that. We can't hold him at fault. Anyone, exactly. Anyone could have been a target to their mad desire of destruction. Back then, if we stepped forward to protect the Northern Heavenly Sect, then we would have also become a target and would have suffered the same fate as well. Exactly. Same thing I just said. That's the issue with the group mentality. <sighs> he says, when people are under the influence of this, they will not only, they will, they will not accept anyone else's opinion to exist. When you have a lot of responsibilities and people that you have to protect, it's natural for humans to become weaker. Instead of standing up against their group mentality, I, cho I chose the easier route and abstained from it. I did not agree with the ide ideology, but nor did I participate in it as well. He just walked away. He did what was best for him. Even though I had the strength to stand up against them, I wanted to preserve my family, my people, our safety, and peace. That is why I chose that route. That is my sin, as well as my cowardice. When I heard that your late father was killed by them, the weight within my heart became even heavier than before, and even the passing times had yet to reduce that weight. Mm. He's spitting right now, bro. He's telling Jen all the, like, his, his grievances with what happened, bro. Because it's fucked, man. It seems that you, that, that you will have no choice but to live a conflicting life. Your life alone shall change the fate of many lives. But your actions shall put numerous lives to death as well. So, sh so allow me to ask you this. Are you prepared to withstand the treacherous fate that lies ahead of you? Uh, yeah. 
Jin Jin says. Yeah, he being a hundred, bro, and I like that. Because again, like I said, he if he would have stepped up to fight for the the northern heavens at that point, who knows what would have happened to the Tang family, you know? Yeah, you can't exactly you can't be mad when he was looking out for his entire clan, bro. You cannot be mad. Because we we have to we have to assume that if he took if he stood up for them he would have got annihilated like he said bro you know what i'm saying so you can't be mad at him bro and i like that he's owning up to it and he felt he felt some kind of guilt because he knew it was wrong you know i like that jin says i have no idea on what kind of fate that i am destined to however i will not allow myself to become consumed with fear and try to con try to avoid it by any means even though I don't know what awaits me at the end of my journey, since I have chosen to walk this path, I plan to see it through till the end, a real one. That boy, Jen. Oh, I see. Whenever, whenever I see you, I cannot, I cannot but remember the words vitreous and just that illuminated the earlier years of my life. I was once known as the Tang family's righteous hero. As the years passed, these four words that shine brighter than anything else in my life have become diminished. And for the past 60 years, it has lost all meaning to me. However, the more that I look at you, the meaning has become to spark some flames within me once more. You know them blade when Jin finished? his training and went back to look at the old man and just dropped it bro Alkiji, i think you should start picking it up bro i think you should pick it up bro i think it's really good it's really good bro it's really it's really good and i i agree with you it's it is kind of slow in the beginning because even me personally i was i was kind of slow on it in the beginning too but then it picks up and it starts getting really good man Yeah, they were like Jen's. Yeah, the fact they would have smoked them, bro. My goodness, you're making this old man quite embarrassed. I am the sect leader of the Tang family, as well as the Poison Emperor Tang Gion Wu. I have once more arrived at another crossroad. However, I shall not stray away from my path this time. Whoa. I did not expect this, bro. Starting today, the Tang family shall fully support sect leader Jin and pledge to protect you from whatever dangers lie ahead. Dude, I didn't expect this already. Like, we knew Elder Tang fucked with Jin. We knew Lady Tang is in love with Jin, obviously. Ryong, I think her name is. She loves him. So we knew they would fuck with Jin, but for the emperor and the leader to be like, boy, you now have my full support after everything is so sick. So sick, bro. Ooh, that's why. Castle of the Supreme Sword. Hmm. Okay. So we're cutting away to, is this one of the other dudes who betrayed Jin's dad? Back in the day, bruh, one of the other four, uh, what are they called, the Northern Heavens? The four dudes? The one that Uncle Joe was in, you know what I'm saying? Because we see, Castle of the Supreme Sword, and there was a Blade guy, if I'm not mistaken. What did you just say? Joe Chion Wu was killed, and his son, Joe Eun Kyung, has disappeared? You're telling me that the death of Joe Chion Wu was caused by the Silent Knight? That's not possible. This is Joe Chion Wu we're talking about. Then what then what has happened to the broken fist sect? Yeah, the four pillars. Got you. Thank you for that. I forgot what they were called. The elders of that sect are the ones leading it? <laughs> it seems an internal conflict shall soon arise. 
He was a cruel and vicious beast that couldn't stop and think about his consequences and was more stubborn than anyone else I had met. But even still, for us four lords of the northern heavens had no choice but to stand together in order to have enough strength to fight back the nine heavens. Sheesh. Woo! And we see this boy, he and this sword is tight, bro. He's cleaning his blade. Hmm. I wonder what shall happen to us now. And we see, boom, blade of the nimble ghost. Yon Chion Hua. Oh my God, bro. The dude looks tight. I can't cap. He looks kind of sick, bro. I can't front. The sword, crazy. The sick name too, bro. Blade of the Nimble Ghost? Stop it. Bro. All right, let's keep going here, bro. That's crazy, bro. Wild. We go back to the tank family. The next victim? Yes, sir. That's what it seemed like. I told you before, the Tang family residents, the Tang family will always repay their debt. Since you saved my life, there's no need, there's no need for you to feel burdened by this. Whoa. So is Jin in this like bath? So Jin is in this like pool of green water, right? And then we have the Tang fam, we have Elder Tang, putting his poison key into Jin, and we have two other dudes on each side putting their key into each other, fusing into Elder Chang. Elder Tang, excuse me. Crazy. Yeah, some fire names for sure, bruh. And boom, we see Jin immediately hit with a wave of energy. Whoa, this is amazing. It's as if all the fatigue that I've built up as well as my block circulations are being expunged. I'm overflowing with strength now. So this is the power of the Tang family. The amount of key he holds is much larger than I thought. For most people, this treatment should have ended by now. Wow, wow. Green water is always an upgrade in Myrtle Manwas. Got you. Okay. Got you. Yeah, he definitely seemed like he was getting cleansed right there. Was like his uh, points and shit like that. Yeah. Sheesh. My my goodness. Good work, everybody. He's like, whew. Good work, y'all. Good shit. Make sure to take a quick break and focus on rehabilitating your internal meridians. All right. It's your turn, Ryu san. Yeah. <laughs> this man is just in there just <laughs> ah, this feels so good I don't want to get out of here he <laughs> he <laughs> one week later okay our boy Jin is scarred up bro mmm and he's remembering all the scars he's gotten, bro, by touching them. He touched the one on his side, remembers the hit, boom, he took from the Silent Night guy. From, oh, yes, when he was a kid, kid, bro. Before he went to training, before Hasio dipped off, like way back when he got smoked. Hasio, Hasio, are you doing okay? He's still thinking about our girl, bro. I need them to meet, bro. You know what I mean? I need them to meet each other already. I miss. He's gonna say, I miss you. May I come in? Yes, come in. Jin puts his shirt on real quick. Our family, our family had prepared a special gift for you. He wanted me to personally deliver it to. And as she says that, a gift from the Tang family, and immediately, as she's talking, she can't even finish a sentence because she sees Jin over here getting dressed. 
<laughs> see that boy bare chest. She, she got hot for a second. She said, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. It, 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 it's a cloak that the family had used when he was younger. Since it was made with the hide of a flame bear and the scales of a snake dragon, this cloak will provide you with a high resistance to wind, fire, and rain. The inside of the cloak boasts numerous pockets. You'll be able to carry around any personal items that you might require. Sheesh, okay. Because of this, you can save a lot of luggage space when you're all when you're going on long trips. Since seems like our young miss is ready for a marriage. Please be quiet. <laughs> She's getting wet down there. OD, bruh. OD. I have no words. <laughs> Thank you so much for this valuable gift. Ooh! And that boy Jin cloaked up looking fire, bro. Cloaked up. Cloak comes up kind of high too, covers his mouth. Sword hilt peeking out too. Mm, clean. Clean. This cloak, the cloak suits you well. Are you ready to depart? Ooh! Ooh, that's looking sturdy. Where, why is Elder Tang here? Master Jin, you're the type that doesn't take proper care of their own body. Even if you're young, you won't last long. That's why you need me, someone that can provide care and treatment for your body. Even though I've spent most of my life researching within the Tang family, I had believed that I still knew enough about this world. However, after witnessing the incident in Jade City, as well as encountering new people, I came to an understanding. The people of this world must learn the truth of the atrocious actions performed by the Broken Fist sect. And we must do whatever we can in order to fix this corruption that we live in. Talk to him, Elder. Come on now. Not to mention, I feel that you, I feel like you out of all people have the potential to change the world. That is why I wish to follow you on your journey. Elder Tang is like, yeah, boy, yeah. <laughs> is that okay with you? Wherever my uncle goes, I'm obliged to follow. She, she would have came anyway, bro. Stop playing. She would have followed regardless. He's a bit careless sometimes. So I have to make sure he, that, that I, Check up on him. So also, that's also what our family head wants as well. Besides, we still haven't finished his training with you. Mm, so he's going to pull up as well, Ryu? Okay, the gang is back. Okay. Ha! I'm overflowing with strength. You better watch out. Ha ha ha. Ryu. You little brat. I told you to wear your clothes properly. <laughs> But master, this looks so much cooler. I know I promised that I would obey your your words, but this is something I can't compromise on. <laughs> Healing acquired, yup. Easy. What are your thoughts? I heard that the, fa the Tang family head swore loyalty to you. I, uh, if that's the case, I think it'll be a it'll be a bad idea to have them as our companions. I did. I don't think. Excuse me. It'll be a bad idea to have them as our companions. Although that little shit over there is a bit troublesome. This might even be beneficial to us since we will be receiving support from the Tang family in Sichuan. Let's continue our journey with them. So if the three-eyed scholar is telling it, telling it to us, we know it to be true, bro. It's a good idea. All right. Let's head toward the Central Heavenly Alliance. Mm. And as he sees the leaves, as Jin's leaving... Leaves start coming down. He turns his head, sees the old geezer in the trees. Jin gives him a little bow, you know what I'm saying? Shows his respect, and they out of there, bro. Love to see it. You love to see it, bro. So sick. Okay, we cut away now to our girl, Ha Seo. On this caravan with the people she met at the campfire a couple of times ago. So she's just on top of there, just chilling. He's looking back like, ooh, she cute. 
Handle with care. Okay. So they're moving some kind of luggage or something, some kind of cargo. All right. She sees up there. She's just sitting. This man, bro, he he love her, bro, but he don't know what he's getting into. This man is head over heels for Hasio, bro. And she ain't playing him a single mind. So we see nighttime falls. They're making camp at this place. Hasio eating by herself again while these dudes are, you know, at the campfire. She cooling. Even though they're merchants, they haven't been able to sell anything for the past few days. Damn, they're terrible. They're also getting they're also getting rejected everywhere they go. So why are they still able to laugh, to smile and laugh like that as she's eating the food they make for her? It's pretty stupid. <laughs> Wait, stupid. And then again, she she keeps having glimpses of our boy Jin and she can't remember his face, bro. Every time she has a glimpse of him, it's always the bottom half, like his like collarbone and like his chin. You know? Are you stupid? She thinks back. Are you sure they're merchants? They did it, they don't seem to have a lot of items. I'm dead. So they about to get attacked. But it's always suckers like that that have the most that the whole that had the most amount of valuable, excuse me. True. In any case, when is our first brother coming? You already know what his deal is. His libido is unnaturally high. Once he gets turned on, he won't be coming back for the next few days. Damn, bro. Few days? That's true. Then we just need to focus on getting the items ourselves. <laughs> Shall we get started? These fucking creepers, bro. Four stained monsters. These creepers, bro. These four brothers were born from the same mother. They are strong martial artists who have learned demonic arts and are found near the province of Quanghai. Quanghai. They have extreme. They are also extremely violent and atrocious. And atrocious uh, people who are primarily known for p uh, plundering villages. Got you. Before they could even decide to pull up on them, Hasio shows up behind them, by the way, and is just like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> huh? What are you doing? They're like, huh? They look ugly too, bruh. Niggas is hideous, boy. Ugly. Who the hell is she? Why don't you get behind us? But it's a woman. <laughs> hey, you guys. Those merchants over there, they're hard workers. Although they're unable to make sales, they're nice people. So don't try to harm them. They're like, they're like huh? Fucking hell. Did you just hear that? She's so cute. Do you think our first brother sent us sent her sent, sent her to us? You dumbass. He's gonna type do that. I'm pretty sure she belongs to that merchant group over there. Really? Then we should probably make love to this cute to this cutie before we start our work. Creepers. Yeah, they're hideous. They're ugly, bro. Yes. I like that idea. Now, come to us, cutie. Wait. Let me taste her. Hey, yo. Let me taste her first this time. This is not fun being the last since they're usually done trying to resist. Hey, yo. Get these niggas out of here, bro. Nah. These niggas are terrible. Yo, Hasio, pack these dudes up. Yeah, exactly. Little did they know. That's the white witch, exactly. <laughs> she says, <laughs> she goes, fucking disgusting facts. <laughs> I guess you guys really want to die today, huh? She stands up and smiles. She go, they go, huh? <laughs> oh, how cute. Seriously, I want to taste her kick. And before he could even finish, 
the man's head from his mouth to jaw is cut. King, top half, gone. In the wind. They go, huh? She with her hand. Bare hand just yeah, cut the man's head off. Youngest brother. Fuck. What the hell was that just now? They get their chakrams. Hmm. Do you guys also use chakrams? To think we'd wield the same weapons as you filthy vermin. It makes me want to kill you even more. You fucking bitch. We'll shred you apart. And bro, they're going in. Ching, 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 ching. And she just... Now her yawning, bro. As she's dodging these attacks, she's... Yawning, bro. That's disrespectful. Come on, bro. Are all mainlanders as weak as you guys? Oh, my God. It's If that's the case, then why... Then I prefer to... I prefer the assassins my master sent after me the other day. You guys aren't even worthy for me to use my moonlit, my moonlight chakrams. Shut your mouth, bitch. Where the hell did you come from? Who sent you? Oh my God, bro. So she, I don't know where speed blitzes them, cuts them down. And all you see is ting heads gone. Turns around like nothing happened, bro. Crazy, bro. That was... She is powerful, bro. But I just can't wait till her and Jin clash or meet, bro. Because she's chatting about like, oh, our old mainlander is weak. This, that, and the third. Wait till she meet Jin. Wait till she meets our boy. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Dang, so we see we see this like broken building. It's pouring rain. We see a broken building. Oh, you okay? Silent night. Four great demon lords. Spear of the black wings. Silent night. Elder of a thousand sounds of death. Yun Chion Hak. Which one of those which one of you bastards is being a little pussy right now? I was wondering who was making this mournful sound, but it was you, sound demon. This guy pulls up. Silent Knight. Four demon lords, acts of total destruction. Man, Chu San. It's been a while, Chu San. Ghost Spear. Has, Ghost Spear, has it already been 30 years? I thought I would be the first one here, but it seems the three of you have beat me. Okay. And this is some kind of meeting they're having. Okay. Silent Knight, four great demon lords. Witch of White Knight, Seo Gyum Hyang. Whether it's been 30 years or not, you haven't changed at all, senior sister. It seems we're missing Seon Myung. Whirlwind of a Dark Spirit, Yo Sion Myung. Do you guys forget the motto he lives by? Just like my title, I am a free spirit that drifts around like the wind. That, that bullshit is what he's probably saying right now. And he's most likely foil, fooling around somewhere. I'm dead. He <laughs> said, just like my name, I drift in the wind. <laughs> he don't want to show up to the meeting. <clears throat> However, once we make a decision, he will definitely be the first one who comes to our aid. He's always been like that. Okay, he's a real one though. Okay, that's tight. This was supposed to be the great assembly. How pathetic. It's because you demon lords are like this that the silent knight is in this pathetic, this pitiful state. Excuse me. That boy wasn't related to me by blood but he was still my son nonetheless. I will not allow Dan Yope's death to go unavenged. Dan Yope was has always wanted the Silent Knight's reawakening to reawaken from its slumber. 
even if his ideals were impossible to achieve, he never once looked back, nor did he ever give up. He wanted to do whatever he could in order to fight back the injustice. However, look at us now. Not only did we give up, but we also accepted the reality we're in. We have refused to make a change. So my question low key is, what reality did they have to change? Like what happened before to make them in this scenario, you know? We have become useless adults that do not allow, that do not allow our children's dreams to blossom. But what do you want? But what will you, but what, but what do you want? Uh, wait, what? But what you want will cause more sacrifices to be made. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. A lot of innocent lives will suffer. You guys are now motivated to do something? It's like now? Even if sacrifices have to be made, it'll be better for us to at least try and come back into the world. Since we're already awaiting our deaths in this, these desolate lands, we are the ones who killed Dan Yope. It was due to our negligence, negligence and incompetence that he died. Dan Yope is the one who has ultimately reignited the passion we've lost since forgetting. She get deep, bro. I, I can't wait to figure out what happened, bro. We ended up piling up all our burdens upon him by calling him our last hope. And when times were tough, when times were tough for him, he, when he needed us the most, what the hell did we do for him? It's honestly sad how disgraceful we were. Chusa, you can't vent at a later time. You can vent at a later time, excuse me. Story finna turn up. Up to down soon? Oh shit, okay. What? Did I say something wrong? Did you bastards already forget how we were chased out chased out from our lands? Ooh, okay. So they were chased out by I'm gonna assume it was the, the, the Central Heavenly Alliance, right? Who chased them out? So we see the, the, the rain just stops in midair in front of them. In any case, the final decision shall be decided by his will. The master of a night is coming. Who is that? So they go, the final decision will be made by him, by his will. The master of the night is coming. Who is that, bro? Bruh. I need to know more about this silent night, bro. I need to know more about them, bro. Why they were chased out. What's up with them? Why they're in these desolate lands where it's all shitty. Like, what's going on there, bro? And then they have some kind of leader? A master of the night, bruh. That's actually OD. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm waiting for this, and I'm also waiting for Hasio to meet Jin, bruh. Those are the two things I'm really looking forward to, for sure, right now. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate you. These chapters steady moving forward. It seemed like shit gonna pop off soon, bruh. So if you enjoyed, don't forget, drop a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. Also, sub to the boy because I'm bringing different live reactions every week. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.